I'll probably keep one of my rays slash frostbolts. Rays better later, and frostbolt also takes out stargazer Luna. I just want to make sure if I because people play a lot of tempo style mage versus mage. Like, you often see a turn 2 Sorcerer Apprentice or a turn 3 Stargazer in this matchup. I want to make sure I have an answer for it. He's playing a uh, Cyclone Mage. It's really cool playing Freeze Mage. Has, hasn't really been a. Uh, deck for a while. Kind of reminds me of a lot of the old concepts that I used to use when I was playing Mage. Like when to Nova first, when to Blizzard first, things like that. Hmm. can do AI into AI here, into Keysmith. That makes me have a good, good, like, perfect amount of cards after the double AI. I believe after the double AI, I hold 10 cards every turn. Like, as long as I play one card per turn. I don't ever save it, do I? It's not even guaranteed that I can play Pocket Galaxy in 5. I have to contest here. It's technically an option to Keysmith and bluff the Spellbender. Well, no, there's ways you can... You can go uh, Ray of Frost. The funny thing is, if he wants to play on Vaporize, he has to not attack Ray of Frost's guy. Because once the Ray happens, he can't attack anymore. <laughs> That's funny. I, I think I, I just go for this. It's good to see you again. I used to watch you stream a bunch. I haven't seen you in a while. It's good to be back. He might not want to attack Conjures. I'm not sure if it benefits him. Oh, that makes more sense. Because if he gets a 7-8, I can trade Conjures, right? Like take the Valley trade. Okay, let's not play Luna's here. <laughs> let's uh, let's do this. So he has to use two freezes to freeze my guys. And I have good freeze stuff too. I need to freeze him so he doesn't value trade conjures. Well, that's eight damage too. Yeah, like I said, we might not even be able to get off the Luna's galaxy. We have more freeze effects than him, kind of. This mass icon here. The future is ours. Why do you play the Lip Gazer first? What? Oh, because that was a card. We actually. kind of want to kill the Gazer, because. Hmm, because he can... Oh, it's so weird. Perhaps. It's so inefficient on our mana. If we don't kill that, he can get card advantage and get more freezes than us. Interesting. One mana off from Zilliax as well.
My calculations are flawless. Oh, that is so lucky. I was about to just freeze him and keep going face and conjuring. So we Interesting. I probably have to develop here. I need to win this with tempo, right? And I have a lot of conjures, blizzards, novas. I don't really know if we prioritize, like, Interesting. I think this is fine if it just absorbs seven. The problem with saving this with the freeze is that the freeze early, and it's not guaranteed to survive with all the random spells and stuff. I don't want to waste a turn like Nova Doomsayer here and then it not go off, then it's a disaster because I waste both. I waste the Nova. It's not about the Doomsayer. The Nova is what's important. Dim Sarah's counterplay, basically. And it's too early to Nova. Yeah, he's not Beast Mage. He got a low attack stuff. That's good for me. He's gonna conjure my Dim Sarah, probably. Oh, spell damage. Oh, yeah. My calculations are flawless. Care to dance with death? Oh, yeah. I kind of don't want to freeze. He has not that much power on board. Oh, yeah. I don't want to res the Toxologist. Oh, my Doomsayer died, I just realized. That was, I probably should have conjured this. I, can't, I couldn't afford, I was just thinking about the giants. Yeah, that's what I traded. I was like, okay, I don't want a Doomsayer. I'm just gonna trade in the 2-2. If I get a 2-2 back, I'll be happy. <laughs> oh no, almost a throw. How's this working out? These are my first games with this deck. I might conjure as the Catalina if I'm far enough ahead next turn. It's gonna be a battle of freezes, right? That's why we will prioritize the freezes so much. Kind of a clear, isn't it? I'm gonna start using freeze, he has so much attack on board. I can try to push with this. This is uh enough damage to start pushing for it. 
Keysmith Blizzard is nice next turn. Keysmith can do some cool stuff with the counter spell or splitting image or something. Um, do you guys see the overlay right now, or not? Or let me let me do something, but. I can put my overlay, but there should be a deck tracker overlay on my stream as well. Okay, because I see people asking deck lists and stuff, so I was confused. Just in case, though, you're watching on mobile or something. I don't believe it works on mobile, so I've put my own overlay up too. Ah, oh, that's a perfect freeze. It's like a cheap freeze. It's not counterspell. I mean, sorry, it's not mirror. Getting Blizzard counterspelled here is so bad. Too bad I can't, like, you know, use some other spell. I have so much good stuff in my deck for one mana, but. And tonight I'm running out of spells. That doesn't seem like he does. He have one man spells. We'll see. Unity, precision, Aha. Nice. This is happening for sure. Perfect. He has a fireball, right? It's so weird. Does this, yeah, I had to trade like this because he can fireball this 8 7. It, we're kind of playing for value now. It doesn't make sense for me to double trade then get fireball pinged. He has two conjurers left. His, hand, his deck is very conjure heavy. It's a board. <laughs> it's a board control fight. That is what it is. No reason to power blast face here. It's this kind of game. Plus, like I said, he has very heavy conjures because his conjure was randomly generated. So it says two conjures left in his deck out of like ten cards. So the rabble bouncer is very scary. Seven drop. Hmm. 
Oh, not good for him. Give me some cards. Is he dead? That's Alex the face. We have eight, nine, plus four is thirteen, no. So he's still traitor, see what we get. I probably trade for it. I don't want to conjure that for a bunch of taunts. We might not draw a spell for a while, so I'm just going to play everything from the board. I don't have to play around randomly generating Flame Strike, even though I'm saying it's a 4 4, because Flame Strike, my other stuff, is big enough, anyways. 